okay so this is the last video about malabsorption syndrome okay i told you that in the small intestine the pancreatic enzymes play an important role in absorption and digestion of for example uh, carbohydrate okay because uh, and proteins yani the pancreatic enzyme like trypsin and the chymotrypsin uh, just digest the uh, proteins okay and that will help in absorption of protein in the small intestine so the presence of pancreatic disorder will lead to malabsorption syndrome in a lot of cases okay in this video i'm going to talk about this we have pancreatic disorders that affect the uh, absorption like the very common cystic fibrosis okay and the very uncommon johansen blizzard syndrome and the very uncommon also schwachmann diamond syndrome schwachmann diamond syndrome or sds okay let's start with cystic fibrosis actually to talk in details about cystic fibrosis i'm going to make a video to this subject okay but briefly talk now what is cystic fibrosis is a mutation on sifter gene cftr gene okay that located in chromosome 7 so the problem is in a chromosome 7 okay so we have a common mutation uh, that is delta f 508 okay so this is wrong delta f 508 not 580 okay so we have a common mutation <coughs> that is delta 508 okay the on chromosome 7 uh, the softer gene this mutation will lead to defective chloride function uh, channel function and the defect in the chloride channel function will lead to dysregulation in water and salt flux across the epithelial glandular cell so the epithelial glandular cell okay that has um, a rule in uh, salt and water uh, flux will be affected <coughs> okay so there will be dysregulation water and salt flux and, and salt flux okay <sighs> this is the uh, cystic fibrosis that will lead to accumulation of mucus in the respiratory system okay in the liver in many organs actually cystic fibrosis is multi-systemic disease one of the affected uh, organs in cystic fibrosis is the pancreas it will lead in 85 percent to exocrine pancreas insufficiency and that will lead to malabsorption that's what concerns us here <coughs> the symptoms of cystic fibrosis are many many symptoms of them are liver diseases stateria why due to malabsorption neonatal cholestasis okay there is some problem with uh, absorption and w with excretion okay meconium ileus distal intestinal obstruction syndrome okay rectal prolapse and pan pancreatitis okay so all these can happen as a, a, a symptoms of cystic fibrosis actually uh, this is not uh, uh, what I want to t tell you about cystic fibrosis, there is much more I want to tell you. I will do a separate video for that. Okay, now let's move to the rare syndromes of the pancreas that will lead to cystic fibrosis, like Schwarzman Diamond Syndrome. Schwarzman Diamond Syndrome. Schwarzman Diamond Syndrome is uh, actually autosomal recessive disease. In Schwarzman Diamond Syndrome, we have pancreatic insufficiency okay that will lead to malabsorption and short stature as a result we also have bone marrow dysfunction so remember in Schwarzman diamond syndrome we have bone marrow dysfunction that lead to pancytopenia and neutropenia okay the baby that presents with Schwarzman diamond syndrome will have recurrent infections serious infections like meningococcemia and this is due to the uh, pancytopenia neutropenia okay skeletal abnormalities like metaphysial dysostosis uh, dysostosis okay so 
this is the triad of uh, Schwachmann Diamond syndrome. You will have bone marrow dysfunction here, the pancreatic insufficiency that will lead to malabsorption due to decrease in the pancreatic enzymes like trypsin and chymotrypsin that plays an important play an important role in uh, absorption and skeletal skeletal abnormalities like metaphysial dysostosis actually there is a documentary video or a film on the Schwachmann diamond syndrome very nice to uh, to uh, to see uh, check youtube to see it okay the third syndrome that uh, will lead to pancreatic disorders is the johansson bizarre syndrome very rare syndrome the symptoms of Johansson Johansson Blizzard syndrome is stachyuria, okay, hypo, hypoplastic, alanizai. So the the nose will appear as a hypoplastic nose, okay, with stachyuria due to malabsorption, short stature due to malabsorption. Also, the patient will come with you to you with hypothyroidism and dental abnormalities. So you can see here the. Uh, hypoplastic alanizai or the nasal abnormality this is johansson pleasure syndrome this child will probably have a stachyuria short stature in the future hypothyroidism okay and dental abnormalities if he okay and also here you can see the nasal the nasal problems the dental abnormalities okay the nasal uh, absent uh, nasal uh, alanizai okay short stature and the if you ask them they will uh, the most probably have stachyuria hypothyroidism okay and dental abnormalities so this is the johansson johansson blizzard syndrome okay so don't forget we have schwachmann diamond syndrome schwachmann diamond syndrome the rare syndrome that is it's so recessive with bone marrow dysfunction the triad remember the triad the bone marrow dysfunction the malabsorption pancreatic insufficiency and the third is the skeletal abnormalities okay and schwachmann uh, diamond syndrome the johansson pleaser syndrome just remember this photo cystic fibrosis i'm going to talk about that now let's move to other subject rather than the uh, pancreatic insufficiency we have I, I told you in the first video of this uh, stream that the glucose galactose malabsorption is an important or uh, is a, a cause of malabsorption okay so it's that osoma recessive disease you have a, a neonatal presentation mostly if you remember in first video i told you that the uh, malabsorption is presented in neonates uh, due to different causes uh, uh, that in the uh, in infants and in infants have different causes uh, than in neonates okay and the adults have also has different causes okay so uh, neonate has what we call glucose galactose malabsorption glucose galactose malabsorption is a malabsorption disease that you treat with fructose fructose this is all i want to tell you about glucose galactose malabsorption the last thing i want to tell you is the lactose intolerance i told you that we have the uh, carbo in the carbohydrate uh, absorption and digestion that we have uh, we start with the polysaccharides or the starch okay and the starch is uh, degraded by the amylase into the disaccharide instead of polysaccharide the disaccharide like lactose okay and uh, uh, lactose maltose and what sucrose okay the lactose should expose to lactase okay so that it will be uh, uh, degraded into its primary components the glucose and the galactose glucose and the galactose if we have a deficiency in the lactase then the lactose will not be able to be absorbed okay so it will still in uh, be resident in the small intestine the, there will be a bacterial fermentation of the lactose okay after ingestion of milk we have bacterial fermentation of lactose and that will lead to expulsive watery diarrhea to abdominal distension flatulence 
and loud audible bowel sounds so these are the symptoms of the lactose intolerance due to the malabsorption of lactose due to a problem with lactase enzyme okay mostly the lactase deficiency is a late onset disease okay in the children between 10 and 14 years okay you may have a primary lactase deficiency it is very rare though you rarely see lactase deficiency in neonates and infants okay adolescents and the old old children are more prone to lactase deficiency it may be transient like say lactase deficiency post gastroenteritis i told you that in the previous video you may have a a transient post gastroenteritis lactase deficiency and primary i'm sorry and post gastroenteritis cow's mold, uh, cow's milk protein allergy so it is transient not permanent okay the late, late onset uh, lactase deficiency is the most common from the 10 to 14 years okay so how to diagnose lactase deficiency you will have lactose in a stool so stool a, chrom a chromatography will be positive for lactose okay lactose hydrogen breathing test if you remember the uh, in the first video i told you to uh, to diagnose the carbohydrate uh, uh, malabsorption you have to do the hydrogen breathing test it will detect the carbohydrate malabsorption okay and you have to do stool reducing substances and you can see positive for lactose in this case okay how to treat you have to give lactose free formula for the infants with lactose deficiency okay so you have to avoid things with lactose so this is the final video on, on malabsorption syndrome okay the uh, thing i left without uh, talking about in details is cystic fibrosis okay the uh, next video inshallah will contain uh, this subject in details thank you very much for watching hope it was helpful thank you see you in the next video